In this problem, we're going to be solving an algebraic equation, and we're given two sentences here. It says the sum of three consecutive integers is 105. Find the value of the largest integer. So we're being asked a couple of things here. First of all, we need to pick out our keywords. One of the keywords is consecutive, because any number of integers can be put together to compose or to add up to 105. But the problem is actually asking us for three consecutive integers, meaning that they're going to be one after the other, not just any combination of numbers. And then once we have the uh, sum calculated, then we want to go ahead and find the value of the largest integer. So we first have to set it up. We're going to allow the first integer to equal x. So this is our first integer. Our second integer is going to equal x plus 1 because, again, if we're looking for something consecutive, in order to reach the next number in the series, we have to add 1. So this is going to be our second integer. Lastly, we're looking for that third value, so we're going to say x plus 2 because we're looking for the number that follows the second number in the series. So that's going to be our third integer and they all have to equal 105. So in composing this problem, it's going to be x plus our second integer, which is represented by x plus 1, plus our third integer, which is represented by x plus 2. All of these have to equal 105. Next, we have to combine our like terms. So that means that we are going to add together this x, this x, and this x. We have one, two, three x's, which will give us three x. And then we have digits as well. We have the number one and we have the number two. One plus two gives us three. So now we have the equation three x plus three, and we're gonna set that equal to 105. Now we're gonna go ahead and solve the equation. In order to solve the equation, of course, we want to combine like terms once again, which means that we want to isolate this 3x by itself. We're going to subtract 3 from this side so that the 3s would cancel out. But whatever we do on the right-hand side, we must also do, sorry, if whatever we do on the left-hand side, we must also do on the right-hand side. So if I subtracted 3 from the left, I must do the same thing on the right. So 105 minus 3 gives us 102. So 3x equals 102. We divide both sides by 3. And we're doing this again because we want to get rid of the coefficient that corresponds with the x. So at that point, those 3's cancel out, and I'm left with 102 divided by 3. So x equals 34. Now the problem is asking us to find the value of the largest integer. So far, we have only found the first value, which is 34. So now we have to go back and see what the third integer equals, which in this case, it equals x plus 2. So we take x plus 2, or in this case, 34, which is our x value, plus 2, and that gives us 36. So now we have calculated the value of the largest integer. So essentially, we've solved our problem. We know that the sum of three consecutive integers is 105, and we have also found the value of the largest integer.